Hey guys, so we've had a pretty good week. Well, kind of. I mean, I got sick last weekend, so it was really, really rough. It was like a sinus head thing and because I'm pregnant I couldn't take any medication so it was really like painful and uncomfortable um, even like I took Tylenol and that did nothing but I'm feeling a lot better now just a little congested still um, but we still Jim has had say hello Jim hello Jim <laughs> you do that so cheesy um, so he's had the week off uh, and it's been good like we've done different things we've we ba we registered for baby at um, bye bye baby we uh, what else did we do we did like Netflix binges I stayed home being sick a couple days we did some like date nights where we've gone out had meals and stuff like that um, but the biggest thing we did was we bought a new car so that was really really exciting because I have never owned a new car Jim has never owned a car <laughs> period so it's like really really it's a new thing for both of us and really exciting and um, yeah like our car is fine but when I got pregnant I was just like oh my little 200 200 2003 Civic yes yeah, from the 200s before Christ in the time of horse and carriage. <laughs> so, our little, like, two, two... Again, I was gonna say... <laughs> our little 2003 Honda Civic. Yeah, I just thought, you know, the heat decides when it wants to work and when it want, doesn't want to work. Um, it squeals when we drive, when it's, because like, annoyed it's with pain. us. <laughs> like, I just figured, I'm not 100% sure I want to put baby into this car. And not to mention that the trunk is barely, like there's barely enough room for us to go regular grocery shopping, let alone when we go to Costco, and let alone when we have a car seat and a, a stroller and just all this baby stuff and, you know, plus groceries and stuff. So we wanted to get like an SUV, just bigger, to grow with our family. So we did. We got the Chevy Equinox, which is something that we both liked. Like, Jim liked other cars, and I liked other cars, but that was the one that we both liked. Um, yeah, so today has been a day of errands. We went to go pick up our taxes and uh, go to the bank and all these things. Now we're headed to the dealership, and we're excited. Like, I can't believe we're just going to have, like, a new car within the hour. Jim's like, I'm sad. I'm gonna miss auto. Uh, I'm having car withdrawals. Jim always gets connected to like, er like he gets very connected and sentimental about everything. I know there's people out there that feel the same way. Like when, for, like for example, when you grow up in the car from a very young age, you yeah. get connected to that car because yeah. it's so many memories. It's not the car, but it's the memories of, you know, traveling here, traveling there, the family in the car, that, 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 that. And you feel like you're throwing apart of your memory away kind of so sort of I don't know what the hell I'm saying but I mean it just like we've done so much in this Fiat vehicle <laughs> and I just you know I don't know it feels like we're throwing don't worry one chapter away and starting a new one which is fun because it's just like we're throwing like our dating chapter of our life and now we're getting our family car and that's the car that our kids are gonna grow up in so whoa Easy. I'm not planning on dying with that one car for the rest of my life. Why? Because I'm a bala. I like having like the family car that you stay with. <laughs> okay, babe. Say goodbye to the car. I'm not saying goodbye yet. What do you mean? You Don't gotta... do it in front. Don't cry in front of them. Have a private moment now. <laughs> And I will always <laughs> love you. Okay, let's go. Alright. Sign your life away. So this is basically um for email permission? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so
So we've been signing like stacks of papers for the last hour. You don't just come here and get your car, which is what I was hoping for. Um, but Jim was signing because I'm pregnant. So I can't do the signing. Yeah, because your fingers were uh, affected by the pregnancy. Yeah. You couldn't sign anything. No, it's just that I might as well for the next nine months be treated like a princess. So, um, yeah. Now I just want my car, and I want to go eat lunch, a celebratory lunch. I'm excited because, like, these are, like, our little, like, Honda Civic busted. Bye, buddy. I've got a shiny new, like, like, welcome to, uh, I can't even hold it because I'm so lazy. Like, yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> We're very, like, I, guys. Jim and I are not, uh, what was I saying to you earlier, like we're not, um, we don't buy the best of the best, we're very like low key, um, we get excited for the little things in life, like we don't buy n like new things, I don't constantly spend money on getting things, we don't get the best and finest of everything, this is our first new car, first new anything, and uh, we get excited about how the key flips up. That's what I We've never had one of those key flipper thingamabobbies. I'm no. sure every car has those nowadays. But... Yeah, but not us. We've been <laughs> the little like they plastic. Got us, they got us from point A to point B. Yeah. 365. I've for always. The last I've always bought like used bottom of the barrel like um now we have windows that roll like okay for example my Honda Civic my 2003 Honda Civic has. The windows, windows. When windows that I have to go like, so every time I go to get coffee, I'm sitting there for 20 minutes opening the windows. So I'm excited and for like... really, one year it was really for 20 minutes because... It the, gets stuck. It had gotten stuck from, it was so cold that the, the window crank got stuck. So I had to go and take off the, the handle and grease up the gears in there, put the crank back on and work it for a few months before it started few months yeah, if whatever a few whatever like yeah we're very like simple low-key we we live like just humble. like humble exactly well, humble we and and we're good with that we love that so um, this is the first new thing and it's literally because baby's coming and we just want to have like a safer car and a fresher car and newer car make sure that heating works and everything works safety and it's and safe and like yeah this has a higher safety rating and stuff like that and yeah and a bigger car too because the honda civic is so little you get into a car accident and that it's much more of an issue than when it's in a bigger suv so this is our first like new thing um and we're excited about the key that flips up like that yeah and jim's like oh even the pamphlet smells all new oh, yeah the slip the pamphlet so crazy Jim has to the sniff the pamphlet. It's pretty crazy about the pamphlet. Huh. New car, everything's new car smell. <laughs> Yay, this is our car. <sighs> so excited. I'm going to be so sad like the first time it rains or we have a snowstorm or something. And that's our crusty <laughs> other car. Look at how the wheels squeal. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's exciting. Excited, babe? What are you already inspecting? Listen, man. You're already like. I like my car. Our car. <laughs> the mean. new car. The new car. The new car. It looks nice. I like it. Well, in, in terms of your Bluetooth. Yep. To answer a phone call, press that blue button or the voice command button to end the phone call. Or and also for your vo uh, your volume control. Okay. And this is to change your radio stations. Okay. And the source means uh, if you push it down, yep. you can change your bandwidth from FM to XM. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. And your cruise control is pretty straightforward as well. Well, yep. push it down, you can control your uh, your speed. Okay. All ready. And for your radio. I feel heat on the, in the car. Do you turn that knob to your left all the way around? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you for calling in to OnStar. My name is Donovan and I will be taking care of the welcome call for you today. What have the pleasure of speaking with? Jennifer? And how are you doing there, Miss Jennifer? Good, how are you? 
I'm doing terrific, ma'am. Thank you for asking. I want to congratulate you there on a new 2017 Chevrolet Equinox. Uh, fantastic vehicle that you have there. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, ma'am. As well as I want to let you know that with your new vehicle, it does come with our new 4G LTE Wi-Fi settings, now allowing you and your passengers to enjoy the wonderful world of Wi-Fi while being on the road, okay? Thank you. Perfect. Well, with that, OnStar has two key safety features. You have our emergency and our security. Uh, basically, the emergency services are to protect you and your passengers in case of an accident. Uh, basically, if the airbags deploy, we have the automatic crash response being able to have the paramedics come. Uh, and we will stay on the line until they arrive to you guys, okay? Perfect. Yes, ma'am. Now, you also have roadside assistance. Roadside assistance basically happens if you need to be told 25 miles from there is your dealership. Uh, all you have to do is click your blue on stop button and say roadside, and we'll take care of you from there, okay? Okay. Now, of course, you have our wonderful um, security services where we're protecting your vehicle no matter what. Uh, even when you're not even around the vehicle, we're going to be watching the vehicle because we can send you a stolen vehicle assistance uh, or stolen vehicle notification through email or text message so you know that someone's trying to tamper with the vehicle and so basically prevent the vehicle from being stolen, okay? Okay, can you see me at any time you want? N uh, no. <laughs> do, do you watch drivers pick their nose? Don't lie. Uh, no, we do not do any of that. We don't have any cameras or anything inside of the vehicle. Okay, sounds <laughs> yes, good. Sir. So we were supposed to go for lunch, but of course, getting a new car, we need to get mats. Like, it comes with like the uh, fabric mats, but we like the plastic mats that will hold like oh, mud and stones. Where we'll find going? it. We're not here. We're in the wrong area. Go down this side. I'm hungry. <laughs> this is what excites me the most, honestly, having such a big trunk. And like, well... I know some people would say, oh, this isn't really big. No, but, but compared you know to having a Honda Civic all if, these years... If our baby's gonna be in, on this side, which makes sense, because this side, obviously, you want to drop this down. It's what I think what it is, like a 60-40 split, I think they call it, or something like that. Or I don't know what the hell it's called, but whatever. This is the majority of the side. You tilt the seat down and you can put big, bigger stuff, but really, but our, this, what I'm talking our about, baby cart will fit here, so. What I'm talking about is, not only is this space bigger than our Civic, but that, like, we can stack up, which is really good. Our first purchase. Don't put it on the Freshly. This is freshly detailed. It's still a little wet. So she wants you to put it on the plastic, guys. <laughs> I know this will wear down in a few weeks. Yeah, like after a week we'll be like, yeah, yeah. And then we got to put our new uh, mats I, down. I don't think it'll heavy work, duty. I don't think it'll work because what do you mean? I think they're too big. They're too big? Well, let's check. Not Just place it down. Don't undo them yet because we've got to return them. So it's 7.30. Can you see that? 7.30 p.m. and we finally got to eat something. Um, we wanted to go for lunch, but... Didn't work out. Yeah. So we got, we came to Pita Land and I got a chicken shawarma. So there's like a chicken shawarma, lettuce, tomato, pickles, hot peppers, um, and tzatziki sauce. Jim got the same thing, but um, you got beef, beef and lamb shawarma. Yeah. So this is really, really. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to go home yet. We wanted to keep driving around in our car, so we came for a bubble tea. So I have like a strawberry milk tea and some tapioca and ending our evening. And we like parked right in front of the window so we can like stare at our car to make sure nobody keys it. Because we're kind of we're kind of like excited, excited but worried about the car at the same time. Because we're used to having Just, used cars yeah, so that we don't care about. Cares, yeah, right? but this is the first time we've had a new car and we're like, mm. so anyways, okay, well, we're going to end the vlog now and I hope you enjoy spending the day with us and that's it. Like, share, subscribe, all that jazz and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye. Cheers. Yeah, don't let your dream drop.